Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we'll be looking at the GM7000. It is a Gen 4 2 terabyte NVMe drive from Predator. Up to 7400 megabyte reads. New generation PCI 4.0 speeds with a 12 nanometer flagship 8 channel controller independent DRAM cache. It has write speeds up to 6700 megabytes. Random read speeds up to 1350k IOPS. Now, as for the DRAM cache, it does have a 2 gigabyte of DRAM cache. That essentially means that read times will be actually faster. Now, when it comes to like the operating consumption power, it is only 5 watts. The Operating temperature they rate it for a 0 to a 70 degrees and non-operating temperature from a minus 40 up to a 85 Celsius. Now when it comes to the warranty it does have a warranty of 5 years and as you can see it does have a DRAM cache. It also has a controller which that is the controller that I mentioned. So essentially it will be very fast and very good quality because it has very fast NAND as well, as well as a controller and cache. So your gaming needs as well as your backups will be no problems whatsoever. Okay, so look, I'm all I'm gonna say about this particular drive, right, is it's Gen 4 speeds. Of course, they do go up to past these up to four terabytes. Now, as for the temperatures, I didn't see it go above 55 Celsius. And now when it comes to this thing, there's no download. You don't have to download really anything except for the uh a Cronus uh, cl cloning software, which a lot of brands actually include their own software for cloning drives, which are very helpful. Uh they're probably the best ways to actually clone in your Windows drive into a diff to a different drive. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Now, it comes with a drive, and then of course it does come with an M.2 screw but of course when it comes to like the overall warranty and stuff it's got a five-year warranty the speeds are 7400 megabytes so i mean it's up there when it comes to like the gen 4 speeds obviously when it comes to the the writes then it's 6700 megabytes so it, it, look it's a fast drive okay it's a fast drive you probably saw that when it comes to the slides that i did now nvme is it, it's kind of hard because gen 3 is at the moment is so cheap to buy it's crazy now no you will not notice any difference between gen 3 and gen 4 you won't notice any difference not for gaming primarily now maybe uh like rendering like through adobe or something that does like certain editing or rendering that might actually help especially if you are exporting from that particular drive the faster the drive of course the faster it will render but of course there's more to it than just your storage is also the graphs card your memory as well as the cpu so that really is going to be all dependent but for like Gaming such, you're not really going to see a mass, you're not going to see much of a difference, to be honest with you. That's going to be my personal nitpick there. You won't see the difference, okay? At the end of the day, you're talking to speeds from Gen 3 to Gen 4. You won't notice a different a difference until we get to like Gen 6 or Gen 7, where the the actual overall speed is like hitting stupid numbers then honestly you won't notice anything the only difference is i'd say with faster drives is the iops if you're doing something like in a medical or something to do that really needs fast storage to do something render something or 
process something, that's where a fast drive will actually help. Now, you won't mo notice much of a difference with gaming. Maybe load times, but that's pretty much it. You won't notice any difference with gaming because it doesn't really utilise the drive like that. It's generally for loading games. You might see a bit of a difference there, especially with like Windows and stuff, but it's not really going to affect your gaming as such from Gen 3 to Gen 4. Now, whether you should buy this product, I mean, that's going to be up to you completely. I'm not going to tell you to or yes to buy it. At the end of the day, that's, that's just me telling you. That's me being completely honest. There's so many good deals at the moment for NVMe storage. If you don't need two terabytes, they do have a one terabyte option as well, which, of course, the higher the capacity, the more the money, the more it costs. That's due to the fact of the NAND. But... Whether you want to buy this one or not, I will leave links down below, of course. But make sure you check my Amazon link because I will be leaving a link as well down below for Christmas deals on NVMe storage. It's not going to be just for this one, but it's going to be for all NVMe storage. Because at the end of the day, I'm just here to review this. I'm not here to tell you to buy it or not because at the end of the day, I'm a, I just reviewing it. So that's where my opinion stays at, okay? So, yeah, look, I've got PC builds coming, three included, just before Christmas and Christmas week. So make sure you subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.